All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to solve a system using substitution. One thing, a couple keywords we're talking about is um, one thing we want to find on um, using a system. When we're talking about a system is we're talking about more than one equation. All right? Um, the next thing is when we're solving, to solve a system, what we're looking for is we're looking for a solution. So when we're talking about a solution, if you guys remember, a solution to an equation is what makes the equation true. And a solution to maybe a graph is going to be, you know, those points that make it true are all the points that make up that line. So when we're talking about a solution, if it's a solution to one graph, it's going to make, I'm sorry, if it's a solution to an equation, it's going to make the equation true. So therefore, a solution to this would be um, 1 and 4. Because when you, you put in a 1 for x and a 4 for y, you get 4 equals 4. That would make it true. One thing you could also know is the point 1 comma 4 would be on this line. So when you're trying to solve a system of equations, um, I'm sorry, when you're trying to solve s systems, what you need to do is you need to plug in, since we know that if, it's, if it has to be true for the top equation and it has to be true for the bottom equation, then what we can say is both of them are going to be equal to each other. So what I can say is, rather than writing um, y is equal to 4x, I can say if at the same point our y's are equal to each other, what I can do is, is I can put in my 4x into my y. So what I'll do is I'll have x plus, and rather than writing y, I can write 4x. And again, the reason why I can do this is because remember, we're trying to find, if you guys remember the graphing method, we're trying to find where these two equations are equal to each other. So we're trying to find their y's are the exact same. So I'm saying y is equal to 4x. Well, if at the point where they intersect, we know that their y coordinates are going to be exactly the same. So rather than writing y up here, I can write 4x. So that's exactly what I do. So then from there, now I just use my math. I have x plus 4x becomes 5x. That's 5. Then, now to undo my multiplication, I divide by 5 using the division property of equality. So x equals 1. So therefore, I've determined that this point is 1, where they cross. So I know that the x value is at 1. Now I need to find out, well, what is the y value? So to do that, I can just plug in a y, or I plug in when x equals 1, so I get 4 times 1, y equals 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We can say that that would be your point one four. So you know that the intersection of these two point of these two lines is at one four. Um, now, the next thing we need to look at is I need to write in the solution is going to be one comma four. And what that means is at the point one four, what that means is one four satisfies this equation and it satisfies this equation. Which, if you check it, that's right. If you put a one in for x and a four in for y you get 4 equals 4, which is true. You put a 1 in for, uh, I'm sorry, 4 in for y and a 1 in for x, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 equals 5. And if we were to graph this using the methods we previously learned, you'd notice that they intersect at 1 comma 4. So, another problem. Well, on this problem, we have y is equal to 4x minus 1 and y is equal to 2x minus 5. If given a problem that they're both set equal to y, <coughs> Um, when, remember, you can plug in what y is into the other equation. But another way to think of it is, remember, at this point, that's where the two equations equal each other, right? Those two lines equal each other. So simply what I can write is if I say 4x minus 1 equals 2x minus 5. Because we want to find out what are, what are the values when the two equations equal each other. So now I have... Um, now I have my equations, and the other thing you want to notice is if you're doing this correctly, you'll notice that I've eliminated the y variable. You can only solve for one variable at a time. So if you notice over here, I only have x's. I eliminated the y by substituting in that equation. Again, by using substitution, by substituting a 4x minus 1 in for y, I've eliminated the y variable. So now it's very easy for me to solve for x. So I'll subtract the 2x on both sides. So I obtain 2x minus 1 equals a negative 5, add a 1, <coughs> add a 1, so I get 2x is equal to a negative 4, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals a negative 2. So therefore I know the x coordinate where the intersect is at negative 2, define the y, I plug in a negative 2, it, excuse me, it does not matter which equation you plug it into, y equals 4 
times negative 2 minus 1, y equals the negative 9. So therefore, then you can say the solution is at negative 2, negative 9. And that is also where the two lines would graph or would intersect when you graph them. And that's how you solve the system using substitution.